Welcome to Inside Science TV. They may be small, but some kids pack a powerful hit on the field. In a first-of-its-kind study of youth football players, biomedical engineers measured the force of head impacts on young players. We instrumented seven of these players, tracked them for the whole 2011 season, practices and games, uh, and got a good idea of what the exposure is at that level of football. Twelve accelerometer devices hidden inside the padding of youth helmets measured acceleration, or how fast velocity changes. The more abruptly a player slows down on impact, the greater the force. The devices measure how hard kids hit and how the head responds to these forces. And what we found out is the course of a season, each kid gets about 107 impacts and some of those start to get into the higher level of accelerations, up to 60, 70, 80, even 100 Gs. Force levels that high are equal to those seen in college level athletes, putting more kids at risk for concussion, an injury Natalie Ganley worries about with her son. I've always had some level of concern with regards to Chase playing football and the fact that he could get hurt. It is a very physical sport. Over 200,000 sports related concussions happen each year. Results from the study will help improve and design better helmets for hard hitting kids. The kids are hitting a lot harder, they're running a lot faster, and they're playing a lot better than I think any of us imagined. Helping make the game safe for kids that play hard. Nice work, man. I'm Josh Lebowitz reporting. Inside Science TV. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.